Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at clipping masks as it's known in Photoshop. In Critter we call it Alpha Inherent and that's basically just drawing on one area of your image. It's really useful for shading, adding colors and all sorts. In our example today we'll be creating a ball and maybe turning it into a grenade. If you like what I do then take a look at the other playlists on my channel. Also check out my courses particularly the complete drawing guide, how to learn to draw, creating game art. All the links are in the description. Okay, so I'll start on my background layer, turn off the lock and make it a slightly gray color. So on my color wheel, pull it across to gray, get the fill tool and fill it in. Then I'll go back to my other layer. Now the reason I do that is because shading onto white can be quite distracting. So give your backgrounds a bit more of a gray tone. Okay, so let's make our ball. Make sure you're on layer one and come across to your circle selection tool and create a ball. So when I first use the circle select, I can adjust it like this. If I hold down shift, it will keep it as a round circle. And if you hold down control, it will go from the middle. So around there looks good. And that's a nice easy way of only drawing on one area. I can now come to my paintbrush and I can fill that in with a mid gray somewhere around here, nice and easily. Or I can just simply use the paint bucket just there. Okay, so we've got our ball shape. I'm just going to create a ground shadow as well. So add a new layer, drag that underneath, I'll rename that shadow and the top one ball and back to my selection tool. Make sure you're on the shadow layer for this somewhere around here, about there as if the light's coming down from this direction. And I'll fill that in with the same mid gray. So make sure you're on the shadow layer mid gray across to your fill tool and fill it in. And I'll press control shift A to get rid of my selection. Now I'm going to go across to the paintbrush and I want to just be able to paint on the ball layer. So let's go all the way to black and use my airbrush. I'll go onto my ball layer and come in here and start shading. But of course it's going over and outside of my ball. Well, I'll undo that. Well, when you only want to shade on that layer, you press the special button at the end here, which is sort of like a clipping or lock to layer button. And you can now just shade on that area. I'll turn the opacity of my brush down nice and low, and then I can really have nice a lot of control when I'm shading in. So let's start shading my ball around the outside. If I go too far, then I can bring the color back to a white color and then maybe shade some highlights. Might bring the opacity down a bit more, a bit more control then. Bounce light under here, not too much though. Hold down control and left click if you want to color pick any areas. And there we go, a roughly shaded ball. And then we've got the shadows. So I'll go across to my shadow layer, do the same thing here. Turn on the clipping, nice dark brush and start shading in nice and dark directly under this ball and then lighter as it goes out to the outer regions. And I can color pick from the background, hold down control, left click, and then I can start bringing in this shadow, making it very faint on the extremities. Really want to break that edge up, make it a softer shadow. And now we've got a nice ball there. I'll just go back to my ball and Shade that bit in a little bit darker where there's ambient occlusion. And you should hardly be able to see the connection between the two. And we can always put a little highlight on here as well. Depends how shiny your surface is. Okay, so we've got a nice ball. What about if I wanted to add some color to this now? Let's say draw some designs onto my ball in some way. And I wanted to do that on a new layer. Well, I add a new layer. And let's say I want some blue details. Let's choose a nice light blue and I'll choose my basic paintbrush and I want to be able to draw onto the ball. Well, at the moment it's going outside. What we need to do is group these two together. So hold down shift, select both of them and control G will create a group. I'll just bring down the layers slightly so you can see there's a new layer for and I'm going to call that ball group and I'll call this color details. Now this is what the special alpha symbol here is for. If I click on that, see what happens to the edge of my line. It suddenly clips to the layers beneath it. So the edge of the line gets deleted. And in this case, we've only got one layer, the ball layer, within the group that is. So it's clipping to that layer. So it's only drawing within the ball layer. If I add another layer underneath that, it doesn't matter if it's underneath or on top, and start drawing some details out here. Then with my color details, I'll color pick that blue again, and I want to come down here. Then it will draw onto that layer as well, but not outside. So any layers that are underneath, so the ball and layer five in this case. And if I hide layer five, that will get rid of those details. So I'll delete layer five, put the bin there, and now my color details are only going to be drawn onto the ball. I'll delete that layer for now and add a new one. And 
use the alpha clip again and then I can add some strange interesting details coming around the ball here and maybe this is going to be some sort of glowing grenade so it's glowing from the middle here and I want a slight indentation there so I can go to my ball layer and erase that I'll zoom in just a touch so you can see what I'm doing and then back to my layer 6 I'll rename this color details and I'll tidy it up a bit and add some of my glowing light to it now well that's great but I wanted to glow more so I want another layer on top of this that glows so I'll add a new layer and I'll call this glow get my airbrush back and I want it to have a nice blue turquoisey glow and if I change that layer to a color dodge layer or something like that maybe bring down the opacity slightly oh we've got a fun glow there for our dangerously crazy grenade and notice with this one if I put my alpha inherent or clip and mask then it will only hit the ball but I'm going to turn that off because I want it to glow outside like this as well I'll quickly draw some glow on the floor as well putting a layer above my background layer and chucking some in there and if I take away that alpha inherent you can see the colors going over the edge there so it's very non-destructive and you've always got it there if you wanted it for some reason I'm gonna have a bit of fun now adding to my crazy grenade so I'll speed that up and there we have it the beauty of using that alpha inherent and the clipping on your layers so you can just paint on those sections hopefully this is helpful to you do comment below if you've got any thoughts or ideas thanks for watching and I'll see you next time